Hey guys, John Eric here back again with no white gloves this time. These are a little bit different bricks than you normally see. Typically, I show you really shiny, fancy, beautiful bricks. These are for the pure utility of it. These are $10,000 bricks. These have a $10,000 capacity. Uh, the customer is just going to use this to store cash. I'm not sure if he's giving these away as gifts or what he's doing, but uh, he, he got three bricks. I'm going to show you how these work. These are pretty cool. These are some of my favorite ones. I like these little ones. They're very handy. I have a lot of customers, believe it or not, give these away as gifts. Got piles and piles of fake money. I just got some new fake money in. This is, uh, I saw a video on this stuff. And, you know, the guy was bragging about how much better it is than other fake money. So you tell me uh, which one looks more real. Uh, this is the new, got bragged on. Everybody says this is the best. This is some Amazon kind of junk. Um, I don't know which is better. You tell me what you think. Which one looks more real? Uh, in the video so we'll find out so we're gonna make this video with this cash um, this also seems a little bit thinner than real money so I'm gonna play with it before I judge it and decide if I like it or hate it but basically this is a pretty simple operation with uh, the 10k bricks all you do is drop ten thousand dollars in this will probably hold a little bit more uh, this curve goes over here just like that we made some cool bolts for him. Or actually, these are pretty basic bolts, but uh, these are just machined down, no polish. Customer opted for no polish on his stuff. Which, if you're going to handle a lot and you don't want to be really careful with it, uh, that's probably the best way to go. Uh, polishing adds quite a bit of expense to them, and it adds uh, a lot of maintenance as well. So this one, you know, just a little quick wipe down to get fingerprints off is really all you need. Uh, I like the machine pattern on these. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure that's going to show up on video. Or I guess we're going to find out. But yeah, literally we just take it out the machine, wipe the water spots off, and uh, it's done. So that one's full. That took, you know, seconds. So we'll take another $10,000 of fake money. Drop it in here. Put the bottom on. What did I do? Oh. You got to keep the money inside. That's that's important. So this is for one of my customers. We registered a couple vehicles for him. He bought some of other cool stuff that we do. And uh, he saw the bricks. He's like, oh, man, I need those. I'm making lots of money now. So I want to get some bricks to tuck that away. We've sold more bricks lately than probably ever of all time. So these are basic machine finished, just uh, 10K bricks. Then we have another one that is uh, designed to kind of disguise the money. So let me show you how that works. So this will be a surprise. So this looks a lot like our 50K bricks that you guys have seen many times. This one's also machine finish. Um, I don't know if you can tell from here, but the uh, top, which is this piece, is a little bit thicker. So we use the top from a $75,000 brick, and I'll show you, I'm going to load it real quick, why we did that. So we'll call that 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50,000. So I think it would actually hold more than that. It looks like it will. But these little holes here... Actually, that looks like it'll hold significantly more. Let's see if it'll hold 60. That'll be a nice bonus for the customer. If his $50,000 brick holds 60000 I don't know that it will, but we're going to find out. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. So this 50K brick, he got a bonus. It holds 60000 So I'm going to put the bolts in it real quick that I'm going to show you what the top is for. This is pretty cool. I almost hate doing videos of non-shiny ones, but whatever. I do like shiny stuff, I'll be honest with you. I may have the wrong bolts here. We're going to find out in a second. Nope, that's the right bolt. We've changed the way we lock the two pieces together, so the bolts are actually... Uh, well, one bolt will work for all of them, but two of the bolts go in a little bit further. I'll explain why in another video later. 
So this one's got 60,000 in it. Nice bonus for the customer. And this is designed to sit on your table or wherever in your couch. And uh, not your couch, but a table somewhere. Drop some candles on it. These are the candles I have handy. So typically you do like a three inch, a six inch, and a nine inch candle, kind of make it uh, look offset nice. But this is a candle holder, literally. You burn the candle, let this fill in with some wax, maybe even let it drip down the side if you want. And nobody's the wiser that you have fifty, sixty thousand dollars in cash sitting in this little box on your table. So this is a disguised candle holder brick. It's very dope. I will show you what we did. So we used to have a lip right here all the way around to lock the two pieces together. We stopped doing that. And now we have this little stainless steel sleeve in here. This lines up as a mail in, there's another one here. It lines up with this hole and this hole. That way they just lock together perfectly like that. And that's it, boys and girls. Thank you for watching. This is for a good customer. Uh, we're doing lots of stuff. Please, please like the video. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. But if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, most importantly, please subscribe. We start doing giveaways as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers. We'll be giving away free bricks, all kinds of cool stuff. Here's another example of something that you might get for free. Here's a survival brick. This one's pretty sick. This one holds cash, gold, and silver. We're giving these away as well. This one holds silver. That one's pretty sick. That holds 100 ounces of silver coins. And my favorite is the really fancy mirror finished, high polished. This is half of one. So check it out, guys. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.